right everyone today we're taking a look at the play windows email worm it's actually called play play whatever you want to call it because it's help spelled backwards and that's the name of the file that ended up spreading so as we can see we have a vbs script here just got the whole i like how the second uh, comment is i hate you it's pretty nice and it also overwrites a variety of files including exe mp3 avi and other vbs files so as we can see We've got the infamous love letter worm here too, just all set up, it's all happy just sitting on the desktop. And we got this mp3 from Major Empires, some good music. Anyway, we'll go ahead and run the worm now and we will see it send an email and then pretty much screw the system when it overwrites the exes. Read, you must read text file, alright. And apparently our mp3 is not a valid win32 application, which I would hope it's not. We can't edit because we can't open notepad. Well, apparently it didn't overwrite it. We actually just infected the system with the love letter. That's pretty funny. Okay, so now we got two worms working on the system. One that completely crippled the system and sent an email called I hate you to everyone in your contacts list. And now we got love letter also mass mailing itself and infecting the system, which is kind of funny if you ask me. Alright, so Love Letter is screwing with the viewing in our my computer. Let's see if we can refresh here. Don't view as a web page. Don't do it. I want to view as a different. Okay, there we go. If you look at Windows, I don't know why the colors are all screwing now, but that's alright. But you see, it dropped a folder. Look here, and you must read text that it asked us to read whenever we ran the worm. But of course, Notepad is screwed. So we'll go ahead and restart. If it us, yes, restart, please. Please, okay. Anytime. All right. If we go into safe mode, look here, right? All right. And now we can just type the contents out. So it writes to the file, hello, it's so pity that I can't look at your face now and do you know why? Because your machine was infected by Lynx, Ratom Worm, maybe Rage Against the Machine, but I don't think so. Regards from Odd. Alright. And uh, we actually, um, Worm failed more when ways than one, actually. It's supposed to add a line to autoexecute.bat. To uh, format the machine, but as you can see, it just has our VM additions folder running its regular file, which isn't going to do much. But imm.sys is apparently missing, which is bad. That's never happened before, but that's all right. The worm wouldn't let us start Windows anyway because of all the corrupted EXE files, so it's really about it for the play of Windows worm. Uh, kind of evil, pretty simplistic, probably not too widespread considering it trashes the machine after the first attempt at spreading. And don't forget, there is that new Twitch stream tomorrow, a bunch of Mega Man games, so if you're a fan of that or if you have any questions you want to ask, just drop on by and let me know. Alright, thank you.